LG appliances speak for themselves, Android takes over the market, Sharp talks 3D phones, and DXG makes 3D movies possible at home. I'm Kaylee Mosca with Petra Industries, and it's time for the Petra 5 and 5. In under 5 minutes, we'll make you a consumer electronics super genius, just like moi. In a move towards living in a more Jetsons-like world, LG Electronics revealed Monday a new self-diagnosis technology for its washers and dryers, called Smart Diagnosis. Users with the appliances will be able to troubleshoot over the phone by pressing a selected button that will emit diagnostic tones, alerting technicians to the issue at hand. In instances when a service visit is required, a field technician will know exactly what parts will be required before heading out, eliminating multiple visits. LG is not alone in this technology, as Sears Kenmore brand announced a similar product last week. Now, what I want to know is when they're going to be installing this on humans, like, why do I have a tummy ache? And, beetly boop, maybe you shouldn't have eaten that week old sushi in the fridge. $30 copay save for the win. Well, it's finally happened. As Aaron has been predicting that it would, Google's Android operating system has taken over the smartphone market as the number one mobile operating system in the United States. Thanks to the popularity of the Motorola Droid and HTC's Droid Incredible, Hero, Droid Eris, and yes, the Evo 4G. Lord have mercy. The Android OS was found on 33% of smartphones sold in the second quarter, ahead of Research in Motion's BlackBerry at 28% and Apple's iPhone at 22%. This is the first time that BlackBerry has been overtaken since 2007. So, kudos to Android. I don't care. Now, we all know that I am all about the 3D, but believe it or not, even I might have a limit. Set to compete with the iPhone, Sharp is planning the launch of a 3D smartphone that does not require the use of glasses. Using Sharp's 3D panel technology unveiled earlier this year as the screen, the phone will also likely have a 3D capable camera. Now, this may be cool, but how distorted is 3D going to look on a screen that small? And how fast will watching that kind of content drain your battery? I guess we'll have to wait until the as yet undisclosed release date to find out. Now for some I need that now 3D news, DXG has introduced a new 3D camcorder media player that looks pretty awesome for its price point. Allowing users to film their own 3D content, DXG launched the 3D Pocket Camcorder and 3D 7-inch media player bundle, allowing for the filming and playback of 3D video and pictures with no glasses needed. The pocket size camera allows the at-home James Cameron to capture 3D video and then view it directly on the 3.2 inch LCD camera display and the 7 inch 3D media player screen or on a 3D enabled screen, turning everyday things like, I don't know, rainbows into intense cinematic experiences. Think about it, a rainbow or double rainbow even in 3D all across the sky, so intense. Another big over-the-air update has hit Sprint this past week. Sprint began pushing out Froyo, Android OS 2.2, to Evo customers it expects to be fully rolled out by mid-month. Froyo adds a long list of new features including voice dialing over Bluetooth, USB tethering, app storage to microSD card, enhanced camera and camcorder features, the ability to share application with friends, updated social media features, enhanced searching, faster JavaScript engine, full Flash 10.1 support on their mobile browser, and increased battery life. All in all, a pretty solid update for Evo users that addresses some of the missing functionality that Sprint customers were concerned about. I still don't care. That's your Petra 5 and 5. Have a great week and we'll catch up with you next time for more hot industry news.